your body creams are going to sit on top of and absorb See, down. notice a pattern here if you're wanting to balance out any pungent acidic sweet. scents oh, almost body. too sweet uh body lotion but it's good though <laughs> so that way they don't overpower each other and they instead work together collectively as a team it's one thing to layer your fragrances of body care but it's another to know the basics today i am sharing with you all the basics of fragrance layering and body care layering. This is gonna be a fun one. And I'm gonna use a lot of examples. So the first step in your basics to fragrance layering is what you bathe with. Why do you ask? Because you gotta be clean before you even talk about layering unless you want to layer on over the funk or wherever you have been even if it's just around the house or you going to Target or run errands. Gotta be clean. Your foundation is what you bathe with. And it doesn't matter what you bathe with because only you know what is best for you. Is it a body wash? Is it a bar soap? Is it a body scrub? Or is it a body polish? You have to bathe with something to get your layering combination for your fragrances together because this is what all of your other stuff like your body lotions and your body creams are going to sit on top of and absorb down into the layers of your skin. Very important. What are you starting with? And then a bonus tip for this section. Whatever you're bathing with, no matter what choice of these it is, it does matter what fragrance of the thing you bathe with. If you're going for citrus, but you're bathing with gourmand, that can still work out, but you're not going to get your desired result. Just want to put that out there. That's all. If you want to be able to put on anything after you get out the shower based on what you shower or bathe with, then the best thing to do following that is bathe with something mild. Showing this for example, Dove, the original bar soap. Nice, relatively mild scent. Available nearly everywhere, drug stores. Something mild. Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash, perfect for that. It's just a perfect mild scent with a hint of fragrance meant to complement almost anything you layer on top of it. The next thing is moisturizing your skin. This is where you begin to build layers on top of whatever you bathe with. So whether it is a mild scent you started with as your foundation or a specific type of body wash scent, you now have your foundation. What are you going to do to build on top of? For gourmandish scents, here are my suggestions from experience. Fragrances that will go well as far as body butter. Now, lavender, I made the mistake. For me, it don't work. Gourmandish scents are best complemented by other gourmandish scents. I'm going to give you some examples. Caress, shea butter, and brown sugar. Let's say Caress comes out with a matching body lotion. If that doesn't work, get you something that is vanilla scented brown sugar scented or even coffee scented like OGX coconut coffee their body cream that will carry you on top of using this gourmandish scent and that should work for you same thing if you're using Dove shea butter and warm vanilla body wash instead of this caress liquid gold just adopt the same philosophy and keep the, the sense of everything you use in your layer and routine in the same scent family. Everything else should pan out and combine itself along with your body chemistry to project something that gives off a whole brand new scent that no one else has on their shelves. However, acidic scents, because we got to talk about it, 
I won't have it here and I vowed to not buy it ever again. And it was good while it lasted. Soft soaps. Coconut butter scrub with the very light scrub particles throughout it. I didn't realize coconut was acidic until I tried that and it was just very sour and very acidic smelling. So for acidic type of body washes such as coconut, anything citrus such as watermelon, we got to talk about it. You're going to want to combine it with something sweet or gourmandish. So brown sugar, vanilla, cherry, uh, some something similar, either fruit-ish scented or something vanilla, bakery scented, caramel, chocolate even in, in that arena to try to balance out the acidity of the sour smelling or acidic smelling scents that aren't necessarily sweet, but they're very pungent smelling if you will and don't get me wrong this is this is my last bottle of this but you i ain't touched it since i cleared out the first one <laughs> relatively mild scents if you want to keep that across the board perfect example here white t-shirt glad bath and body works brought it back and they need to bring it back again yeah just in case you listen bath and body works this is a relatively mild scent smells like laundry detergent laundry Fresh getaway. I didn't get a chance to pick up the body butter of it. Still relatively mild scents begin to build upon. Now, if you don't have things like this, maybe you have other mild scent. Dove Deep Moisture is perfect foundation. Build on top of that with similar body creams that have that, that nice mild scent, especially if you're going somewhere where you want to don't want to do too much, or maybe that is your favorite scent category. To each its own and just layer that on top of one another seasonal stuff like pumpkin i cannot find this matching spray to this this is body ecology an og i like to call it because they've been in the game a long time spice pumpkin you're going to want to offset something like this that smells very strong very seasonal type of scents you're going to want to offset these with a body cream even though I'm talking about a body cream. If you bathe with something pumpkin fall-esque, those tend to be very heavy spiced scents like apple, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, cinnamon spice, apple pie. If they have a matching body cream that go to it, much like this, layer that the same with it. Or if you don't want to do too much, layer with something vanilla and gourmandish if you see you notice a pattern here if you're wanting to balance out any pungent acidic scents gourmandish gourmandish now if you want to mix of both for those mild scents dove original bar fresh getaway from bath and body works this is the body cream or either swap your body cream after bathing with something mild with something gourmandish then you'll have a mix of that that mild scent with something like vanilla that's about the only way you'll be able to get away with it just giving you the tea of, of my experiments of what i've tried <laughs> and even with you trying these fragrance combinations the next tip is it does depend on how your body chemistry receives them because you could do all all of these fragrance combinations and categories and mix them together and still your body chemistry might not receive it well so that means you have to adjust sweet scents are a bit different from gourmandish gourmandish bakery pie cookies caramel this shea soft and smooth lotion the sweetest nearly saccharine sweet almost too sweet uh, body lotion but it's good though <laughs> this is a lotion i've tried the body wash if you're whether you're using the lotion to layer with or either you're starting off with the body wash depending on what you use either or you want to balance it off with something slightly floral but then also has a gourmandish note because what you want to do is once you introduce that floral and gourmandish scent mixed in one 
on top of the sweet saccharin, then what that should do is balance each other out. If you notice, there's a pattern here. That's the thing with fragrance layering. You could layer all day all these things, but the one thing that comes into factor, comes into play, for lack of a better word, is balancing out the fragrances of whatever you use so that way they don't overpower each other and they instead work together collectively as a team and then the second factor is your body chemistry sometimes they will come together and you know in love in a very loving union and you know get married hey all the times they'll be fighting and there's there's a war rumble match going on between your body chemistry and the five three to five six seven or more products that you've used definitely have to take that into account because I could layer that stuff together and you know what it is and combine my body chemistry I smell like a whole apple cobbler someone else may use the same thing and then it comes off and they smell very floral and they have they don't smell like apple pie at all just want to put that out there fragrances perfumes perfume oils and I now find a spice pumpkin. I mean, I tell you. The first thing when it comes to layering a mix of different type of concentration of fragrances. And I'll leave the video at the end of this one that goes into greater depth and detail. You have to first figure out the concentration of the fragrances that you are going to mix. Looking at these, these might mix together well. I've never tried this together. So let me let me give you the deets on everything. Even though I've never tried it. White t-shirt fragrance mist bath and body works. So that's a mist that's on the lower side of fragrance concentration, which means you'll smell the fragrance. Not much lasting. We have the OG here. Probably would fall into the category of all the toilet or, or just underneath spice pumpkin now the difference with these these ogs like um body ecology cow gun take me away anybody it's the ingredient list you, you have to get used to that if you haven't gotten used to that that's fine i'm gonna give you the tea i noticed that out of using fragrance mist before i started getting into higher concentration of favorite fragrances is that the ingredient list with at least within the first three to five ingredients alcohol and fragrance need to be present at least within the first three because as you're reading the ingredient list of these fragrance mist we ain't talking about any other higher concentration right now as you read the list whatever is first on the list from top to bottom the last ingredient on here is yellow five which means that's the lowest the tiniest amount of that in there as you go up the list of ingredients up to the first one, the concentration of each ingredient they use to mix it all together increases. Let's take a look here where it says Bath and Body Works. Now they have the same structure, but there's less fragrance in it because their formulation is different. Alcohol is first, fragrance is the third ingredient, but then I'm seeing a few other things here. Then you have to think about the bottle. This mists out. Body ecology blast out when you spray it. Once you figure out your concentration of your fragrances, all the perfume, high concentration, probably gonna last you a bit six to eight hours. Also factor in your body chemistry. If I were to mix white t-shirt, something mild, spicy, spice pumpkin, poison girl, a mix of sweet and floral, not exactly gourmandish. It's not in that arena then i have to take into factor how much i spray of each one and mix different concentrations of fragrances together i would start with the one that has the lowest amount of fragrance first unless you like that the most white t-shirt spiced pumpkin and all the perfume let them dry down on the skin and if you notice with me spraying each one of these, I spray them and allow them to mist down into my skin before I move on to the next one. You want to give each one ample enough time to just absorb into your skin before you move on to the next one to layer with. So we have, we can just call this white t-shirt spiced poison girl. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to make up a name and it just sounds just as thrown together and ghetto.
<laughs> right now, it, it smells like it's not working together, these three. But I'm going to give it an hour to see what it does. These are the basics of fragrance layering. If you would like to see more of these type of videos about these particular topics, I got a playlist on layering. You might want to run and watch and grab popcorn to watch all the way through every video. Love you.